in 1856, around the time of the Great Gold Rush. It was a period of tremendous expansion, excitement and optimism, and by the turn of the century, the railways was one of our state's proudest achievements. A shining example of prosperity and modern progress. Three quarters of a century later, the public had come to see us as inefficient, mismanaged and behind the times. That's where we come in the State Transport Authority, better known as V-Line. V-Line was established by an Act of Parliament, the Transport Act of 1983. This Act gave us a whole new set of obligations and responsibilities. The most important of these new responsibilities is that we are now a business. We have specific goals. These are to achieve a return of 100% of our expenditure on freight and 50% on our passenger services. This means we are like any other business, competitive, progressive, and looking to expand our share of the transport market by giving our customer the best possible service we can. Welcome to V-Line. I'm John Hirsch, Chief General Manager of Transport Operations, or TOD, by far the largest of the nine divisions operating under the V-Line umbrella. While our sister organisation, Metrail, handles all metropolitan passenger services, V-Line is responsible for all freight services throughout the state and all passenger services in country Victoria and interstate. That means we do a lot more than just run trains. To provide the best service we can, we also run buses, road coaches and trucks. At TOD, our job is to keep these services running smoothly safely and efficiently on a day-to-day -day basis. As you can imagine, that's a pretty complicated task involving a great many people in a great many trades and occupations. But that's what TOD is all about. At the stations, in the yards and depots, in freight terminals, laboratories and offices, and of course, on board trains and buses all over the state. It is TOD which keeps V-Line running where it is needed, when it is needed, around the clock. But in today's competitive transport market, we have to be continually improving the level of service we offer to our customers. Customers are what keeps V-Line in business. And to make V-Line a success, we have to give the market the kind of service it wants. That is where V-Line is headed, towards the provision of freight and passenger services that generate business through customer satisfaction. In our passenger activities, we are creating new markets in the tourist and travel industry. In freight, we are moving towards more efficient service through improvements in rolling stock and equipment and through the running of single purpose trains. Block trains such as our super freighter service or grain, briquettes, cement or quarry trains provide customers with a fast and efficient service geared to their particular needs. The V-Line is more than just offices and trains, it is people. People working together to give this state a transport service we can all be proud of. As you commence work with V-Line, you will see that it is the people who make the organisation a success. At V-Line, you will find that we can provide a high standard of training in your chosen career, training that will enhance your own skills and personal development. V-Line is on track to being a modern, business-oriented organisation based on the solid foundation of service that is the heritage of our railway tradition. At V-Line, we are working together to achieve a future of prosperity and growth for the transport industry. And we're glad to have you along. I've been on the railway since 1947. It's 40 years this year. Well, when you're a driver, you've got authority. 
your job takes on a different dimension then. And uh, you must know your job properly to delegate anything to another person. You're responsible for the guard with the train. Of course, that's going to change nowadays. I can see the future of one man on a train. He'll go vast distances to what he does now. Les and Craig are taking an N-class loco, one of about 40 new diesel engines built for V-Line over the last couple of years. Trains like this are part of a large investment in the future of V-Line. They represent the forefront in the application of modern transport technology. Driving a locomotive like this one is a highly skilled job and lives depend on it. Once the train is rolling, Les and Craig have sole responsibility. In the end, it's all a question of experience and judgment, especially when you have schedules to maintain and passengers who expect to reach their destinations on time. Passengers who also expect efficiency and comfort for their travel dollar. It's a demanding job. One of these days it will be Craig's, when he passes his training course and practical tests. Meanwhile, from the central control area in Transport House, or Central as it is known, the progress of Les's train appears on a centralized train control board, constantly monitoring over 300 kilometers of track. Making final adjustments to the train graph he has plotted out before the start of the shift, the train controller prepares to punch a computer programmed loop sequence, or move. Freight is where V-Line earns most of its revenue. This locomotive is hauling over 40 container shipments from South Australia through Ballarat in V-Line's western region to Melbourne. Other regional headquarters are at Wodonga in the northeast, Geelong in the southwest, Bendigo in the north, Taralgon in the east and of course Melbourne at the hub of the central region. These six regions each have their own local management and are responsible for their own stations, yards, depots, freight gates, local maintenance facilities and day-to-day -day operating needs. All part of a new look for V-Line, decentralized management that can respond to the needs of our customers quickly. The regional structure is just a part of the complex organization that is V-Line, an organization which each year carries more than 4.6 million passengers over the 8,000 kilometer network of railways in this state. Our freight commitment ranges from steel girders to single pallet loads and even small parcels. But all this activity doesn't happen during office hours only. Last Dine and Fuel Point, locos coming in from all over Victoria, electric locos, mainline locos, pilots and locals, are put through a 20 minute service and clean. If necessary, they are put into one of the maintenance shed's repair roads 
either for a regular service or for further maintenance. It is here at South Dynan that all of V-Line's running repairs and general maintenance work are carried out, changing bogies, repairing engines, fixing electrical failures, and attending to any one of the various day-to-day -day problems that arise. After investigation, some problems may turn out to be more serious than others, in which case, the damaged or dangerous piece of equipment will end up at scientific services for further testing. Because V-Line's trains may weigh up to several thousand tonnes, they, the tracks they run on, and their bridges must be built to last. So we are continually applying tests for strength, for resilience, for flexibility, and for chemical composition under constantly changing conditions. Right next door to scientific services are the Newport workshops, where almost a thousand tradespeople and apprentices put V-Line's materials together. It is just a part of the maintenance and construction side of V-Line. Dozens of trades and scores of disciplines. That's what it takes to keep V-Line running. A train or a bus is more than a collection of nuts and bolts. A lot of skilled people are involved in construction. Welders, fitters and turners, craftsmen, carriage builders, electricians, sheet metal workers, designers, draftsmen, engineers, and many more, each essential for the efficient running of our organization. V-Line has major workshop facilities at Bendigo and Ballarat, as well as at Newport. The provision of all V-Line's heavy engineering services is a demanding task, but our workshop staff are backed by a tradition of engineering excellence and the application of latest technology. Technology is changing V-Line on the job too, making sure that comfort, efficiency and safety are all part of a total work care package that puts you, the people who keep V-Line running, first. The State Transport Authority of Victoria is committed to provide a safe and healthy working environment for its employees. To achieve this, the authority has appointed a group of very skilled and professional people to operate a program, the focus of which is prevention. Prevention of accidents, illness and injury, which could be caused at work. So what we have here is a very modern practice which rates amongst the best in Australia a practice which comprises a number of disciplines such as occupational medicine, occupational health nursing, safety and occupational hygiene, and welfare and rehabilitation. You'll find that V-Line offers its employees a wide range of backup services too. The Victorian Railways Institute, which all V-Line employees are eligible to join, provides sporting and recreational interests, legal and financial advice, and even discount shopping. Or at the V-Line Travel Centre, which provides not only our customers, but also our staff, with some great deals on travel, car rentals, and accommodation overseas, and of course, throughout Australia. V-Line is all part of the job.